Welcome to the new interface for Archie, the online catalog for the Chicago History Museum's research collections. We realize this looks a little bit different than our previous iteration of Archie, so I wanted to take you through our new features. First of all, at the top in the banner above the search bar, you will notice a few links that will stay with you throughout your browsing experience. So no matter what page you're on, these will all stay the same. And this includes links back to the History Museum's homepage, uh, ways to browse items that are only ones that are online. You can get to your lists, library information, you can change the accessibility features or access help, and you can change the language that the page appears in. Below the search bar, you can see we've added a lot more information. Um, on the left, we have links to our own research guides and resources. So this includes direct links to pages like our building and house history guide, our guide to researching our Red Squad collection, the link to our Chicago Metro History Fair page, as well as our Encyclopedia of Chicago and our digital exhibits. On the right, you will see links to other types of searches for Chicago History Museum materials, including digitized images, um, our 3D artifacts, and links to external sites like Explore Chicago Collections and the Digital Public Library of America, as well as WorldCat. In the middle at the top is where we will always have any breaking news for you, including any changes in hours, any changes in our appointment system, etc. We will also be able to feature new and interesting items in our slideshow. And at the very bottom, for now, we'll have instructions uh, orienting folks to this new Archie interface. At the bottom, you can link out to the uh, consortiums we are members of. Um, there also will be links to our social media. And on every page, you will see this button, help improve this content. And if you have any comments or suggestions about any page you're on, please click that. And that is a very short form you can fill out and that comes back to us and we can help improve the page at your suggestion. When you're searching Archie, this will operate fairly similarly. Um, you can use this menu on the left to limit your search to certain types of materials. You can also limit your search to only searching within particular fields. At the right, you will see this advanced search that operates exactly the same as it did before, where you can utilize both of these uh, types of searches and, and dictate multiple search uh, limits at one time. This home icon will always take you back to this page, so feel free to click this whenever you need to come back to the main page here. When you are searching, one of the great things now is that we have fuzzy searching. So if you're searching for someone and you misspell their name or you don't know how it's spelled, you'll still get results that pertain to that person. So even though I missed the I and Irene McCoy Gaines last name, it still popped up. Um, you will get, you will see faceted searches on the left here. So you can limit your search by date, format, uh, different subjects, etc. And any of these you can include or exclude. From this, you can click items and select them and add them either to your lists or you can email or text or print them. If you click within an item, you will see some really important information right at the top. If there is any online component, whether that's a digitized image or a finding aid, that link will be at the very beginning. If there are any restrictions on the collection, either in whole or in part, those will also be at the top. So please take note of those, particularly if you're coming in to request anything. Then you'll have the typical description of the collection that you would have seen in our previous iteration of Archie, including description, summary, etc., a citation. These subject links will work the same way in that if you click on any of them, like Chicago Urban League, it will take you to a list of collections that are all tagged with that. At the very bottom here, you'll see the different items within the collection and you'll get a little information like the call number, the material type, if there's any additional info, and what the status of that item is. So if it's closed stack or unavailable or advanced request, you'll need to email us for access. If it's checked in, then you can just request that day of.